main lesson that we've learned from WeWork, and they've done lo lots of good for the market, is it's about quality, not quantity. And so for us, as we look to expand, it's about doing it with the right deals, with the right landlords and the right locations. And I think being, uh, you, as we said, you look at these hotel businesses that have taken decades to build. And I think it is, uh, it's a marathon, not a race. Uh, our view is this market is here to stay. Well, I think there's always been some, uh, might say, suspicions that uh, the speed of expansion of WeWork has been, it uh, means that it's quite uh, easy to see how it could stumble when we get to a situation where uh, the economies generally around the world are a little bit more difficult than uh, they were. And I think, you know, one of the problems with uh, flexible office space is that tenancies are very short. So uh, when the market uh, takes a dive, uh, a lot of people will just move out and with very little warning. So it is sensitive to that sort of uh, issue. I mean, what COVID did was uh, allow businesses to question working patterns. They obviously adopted homework. And what we've seen across the board from the likes of the big banks that have downsized, businesses are tended to take less space. Uh, uh, and we're seeing that from the big banks going from a million square foot to 250,000 square foot. We're also seeing it for businesses that are 50, 20, you know, 100 that used to have a desk for everyone. And now that is becoming less. Uh, and businesses like ours can offer a really good solution for them, which is far more cost efficient and gives greater flexibility. So I actually chose a shared workspace six years ago when it was just me as a solo founder of my business. And what was really special was that when it was no longer just me, when there were three of us, we were able to work in the co-working area and it was really easy for me to set my team up. And then what became even more special was that when we became a full-time team of six people working under one roof, I was then able to go from the co-working area to the private room office area. actually the future is quite bright because if you look back uh, it used to be the case that people would have to take you know minimum 10 year leases or 25 year leases were quite common business doesn't work like that anymore they need to be much fleeter of foot much more flexible and so i think particularly for smaller business and indeed for uh, some corporates larger businesses who need uh, projects uh, uh, to uh, take on smaller spaces uh, they, they, they do have a future and I, I, I would say that they do provide uh, this social network which I think is very important particularly for smaller businesses. Sorry, sorry.